Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy T. Jones, best in the world, not that yet. <laughs> on top of the Bullet Club. Too sweet, good brother. So you know how it goes. We're going to give you our, in the first video, we're going to give you our NXT takeover, then we're going to transition into the Royal Rumble. So. Actually, we're going to have two videos, two videos today. Two separate, all right, cool, two separate videos. Y'all can get that. So first video. And uh, our Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. I let first, so first off, send shouts out to the NXT there in our backyard, San Antonio, Texas. We couldn't go because we're two broke guys who are jobbers, you know. We got to set the ring up, you know. But we ain't got it like that. We're, we're Dallas, Texas, by the way. So, yeah. That's all I mean, you know, the, you know, the best city in the world. The best city in the world, you know what I'm talking about. Well, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, NXT TakeOver, how you going, before we get to the match card, how you feel about this pay-per-view right now, going into it today? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, NXT always seems to put on the best pay-per-view out of them in the main roster. And I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be better than the Royal Rumble, because the Royal Rumble is... One of my favorite WWE pay-per-views, and I can't wait for that tomorrow. But I wouldn't be surprised if TakeOver San Antonio tonight is better than the White Rumble. But uh, I got a good feeling this this is going to be a good show, real good show. You think so? Yeah, I, I think, I think so, too, man. It's NXT we're talking about. Come on now. Let's, let's be real. I I think yeah, I think it's gonna be a good show too. I really think it's gonna live up to that. I, I've never been, I haven't been too disappointed with any takeover, really. Like takeover be pretty good. Takeover, takeover is always pretty solid. So I'm not too disappointed in that. But yo, let's get it to the first match. Uh, Roderick Strong versus um, Andre, whatever his last name is. Who? What is this old boy from NXT? Andre CN. Yes, yeah, how do you pronounce that last, that, that name? So, regular match, nothing too crazy. I mean, I'm not too familiar with those two guys. Well, I know Roger Strong was in ROH. Yeah, yeah, he was in ROH. He was a beast over there, and, um, CN, I know he's from, I think he was at AAA, the Mexican wrestling, I'm not for sure. But the dude's pretty good, man. I mean, He's a hot flyer, got good spots. Both of them are pretty good wrestlers, so I think this is going to be a pretty good match. But as for the win, I'm going to have to go with um Roderick Strong, man. This is first takeover, yeah, so I see him taking the taking the W here. Yeah, I can see that happening I too. I can see match. that. I think it's going to be a good. I think it's going to be good. Make up the crowd, you know, to keep the crowd hype. Oh yeah, then you got Ty Dillinger, perfect ten versus. Eric Young, Eric Young, I mean, I'll say this, Eric Young is Sanity, I said it before, Eric, Sanity is what the Wire family should have been, so it's the perfect stable, I mean, Eric Young is the perfect dude in this match, I feel like he's going to, and this is his first takeover too, right? Yeah, yeah, it is, matter of fact. I, I I see him winning. I, I'm not gonna go with Eric Young since it's his first takeover. Huh. Yeah, that's why I'm going. I think Todd Dillinger can afford to lose. Oh yeah, because he's already over ten, ten, ten. Um, agreed. I think the leader of Sanity, Eric Young, will walk out with the W here tonight, and I think that um, there's a good chance we could see Todd Dillinger. Debut at the Royal Rumble tomorrow, and it will be gold if he comes out at number 10. 10. 10. 10. That would be dope. That would be dope, though. That 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 would be such a that would be like such a cliche, like yo, for real. The perfect 10 comes out as, at number 10 in the last 10 minutes. We'll be 10 and all <laughs> night long. It's gonna be 10 counts all night long, baby. Thank right. you. And then you got the match everybody wants to see, Oscar 
Payne Royce, Billy Kay, Nikki Cross. For the NXT women's title. I want to go with the side that I want to go with. I want to go. I want to say Asa's keeping it. I want to say I, I want to say Asa's keeping it. But in the upset win, in a surprise win, Nikki Cross. Oh, damn, embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. We ain't cutting that out. We keeping that. It was chocolate, <laughs> people. It was trying to jump, and it, and it went off. I know, right? So, so you said Nikki Cross will be the wild card. Yeah, right? yeah. Nikki Cross is my wild card for the win. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy theory here. So I was looking. At, I've been looking at it from all different angles here. See, first of all, you have Nikki Cross from Sanity, the crazy chick. Who I ain't gonna lie, her little craziness is kind of hot. All right. Don't judge me. I'm just calling it like it is. Um, and I can see her being a women's champion. And she, she, she's pretty great in the ring. I've seen a few of her indie matches. But for some reason, I just don't think it's her time yet. Now, right. Number two, you have Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow. One of our favorites. Love her theme music. Love everything about Asuka. Can't wait to see her on the main roster. Raw or SmackDown. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be tuned in. Um, And she's been on this undefeated streak. She's been women's champion for like, what, uh, 200 and something days. She surpassed Paige for the longest reigning champion. And I want people to understand that she really did. I know some people are like, but Paige was, what, 300 or something Half of that didn't even count. WWE didn't count that because NXT wasn't even on TV. And Paige Wynn was taped like four or five months before, whatever, before that match was even aired. So they're not counting that. They're only counting how long it's been since it was on TV. But um, Asuka, she's a beast. And I wouldn't be surprised if she retained. I know a lot of us been thinking Amber Moon would probably be the one to defeat her. And then Oscar will move on to the main roster. And Amber Moon will take over as champion and continue where Oscar left off with the undefeated streak since Amber Moon's undefeated too. But then you have the iconic duo, my two favorites in NXT besides Oscar right now, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Two people that I could have had access last year. I, I was this close, man. If I was there five minutes earlier, I could have I could have met him, man. But you know what? It's cool. There's always next time. But uh um, Oh yeah. I think I think Billy Kay will have a lot to prove in this match because I know there are some people out there that said, Oh, they're not good, they're they're horrible in the ring. Y'all can't even say that. Because to be honest, they haven't really even fought nobody yet. Where they really have to show how good they are. They haven't True. been in the ring with someone like Oscar or Amber Moon, like yeah, in a tag match. And Billy Kay had a somewhat of a match with Amber Moon at Takeover Brooklyn, but we all knew that Amber Moon was supposed to win that match. But we can't take nothing away. That was a good match. And I think mm -hmm. now that the title on the line, Billy Kay and Payne Royce, the iconic duo, has more to prove tonight. And like I said, in my opinion, I told him before, these two ladies are what Lay Cool should have been. Because I enjoy them way more than Lay Cool. And they're not just two women who got put together. They've known each other for years. That's why the chemistry just like that. Yep. So, if anybody walks out, I wouldn't be surprised if Oscar retained because it's Oscar. But I'm going to go with Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, one of them walking out with the championship tonight. Because I feel like okay. it's a fatal four-way. Oscar doesn't have to get pinned to lose her title. So think about True. it. Oscar can lose the belt but still stay undefeated. True. True. <laughs> See, so that's what you could do. And look, they say that NXT never had a two-time women's champion. So how about we do it like this? 
Oscar lose. She get her rematch. Win it right back. She become the first ever two time women's champion. Then drops the belt again to Amber Moon. Not only will her undefeated streak in, then she can go to the main roster. I like that. I like that. I like. I, 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 I can agree with that. Billy K. M. can win the title tonight by crook by pinning someone else. They have the belt. Oscar get her rematch at the next takeover or, or next big NST. Win the belt back. She's still undefeated with the title. And you can have Ember Moon, Ember Moon, my bad, Ember Moon, win the title and end Oscar's undefeated streak. You never looked at it like that, have you? No. Nope. Plus, I would love to see what Billy Kay and Peyton Royce would do with the belt since they both consider themselves women's champion either way, whoever takes the W. I would like it if they did like how Lay Cool did. They both come out with uh, NXT women's title. They they both wear one. You, you know what I mean? Right. You know, with it. They both have a copy and stuff. I think that'd be pretty dope. But like I said, one of the iconic duos for the win tonight, either Billy Kay or Peyton Royce walks out as your NXT women's champion. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Oscar wins. And I would have no problem with that if Oscar retains. But that's how I would do it. I have let I would let them win it, have it for a good month or two, then let Oscar get it back, and then drop it to Ember Moon and go on and do her own business. But let's go. What's next? All right. Next next uh la, la, la. next match. D I Y versus the Authors of Pain. Tag team title match. In a way I wanna say all the pain gonna win because them some big dudes and DIY ain't no you know like no big dudes. I mean, it's gonna either this. I think this match gonna end up in a DQ. It's somehow gonna end screw up in a big screw up. Cause I don't see DIY losing because they just won them. They just won those belts. I don't see them losing yet. You know, and I think. They're gonna fight, uh, what is that, um, what tag team is that, uh, um, TM61? No, the, t- the team that they won, won the belts from. The Revival? Yeah, I think they're gonna fight the Revival one more time, somehow. The Revival's gonna get caught up, and they're gonna lose to, they're eventually gonna lose to the Authors of the Pain, they're eventually gonna lose to them. Eventually, I don't see them losing. I don't see them losing to the other's pain. I'm calling it a screw job. Uh, I don't even call it a screw job. I think the authors of pay may win by disqualification or count out or something, but I don't see them winning the straps. You're right. I don't see DIY or DIY um losing the belts tonight because, like you said, they just won them. So I see them retaining their titles somehow. So. Or DYI may win by disqualification or by um, count out. So we'll have to wait and see, but uh, I agree with you. DYI for, will still be your champions by the end of the match. All right. Moving forward then. The match everybody wants to see. The match everybody wants to see. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Glorious. Bobby Roode. I know it's a legit boss church. Shout out to Sasha Page. But, uh... I want to say... The, this is a tough one, man. I think Nakamura may lose. I think he may lose. I really think he may lose and debut at the WrestleMania. And come up. And come up. I think this is going to be his big call up. He a two time NXT champion. I see him losing. Two time. Two time. Yeah, one time champ. No, he won it back from Joe. He won it and he won it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot. You're right. You're right. You're right. He a two time NXT champion. Him and Joe are two time NXT champions. Unless they're going to let him win it a third time, which I highly doubt. But he could retire. Th- he could, 
Because, I mean, they did show, like, spoiler alert. I'm sorry for this. But th this really don't mean anything. But remember, there was that confrontation that he had with Chris Hero. So, there's a good chance they could yeah. they could fight for the belt. Uh, that's good, yeah. yeah. Or, or, or Bobby, I can see that. Or Bobby Roode can um, win it. But um, I hate to say this. Spoiler alert, okay? This Talk is to him. me, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So I don't want to get no backlash. But uh, a few minutes ago, I just got through reading from E-Wrestling that there's talk of Nakamura uh, being in the Royal Rumble tomorrow. See, I, see, that's funny you said that because I thought about that. Like, we talked about that off record. We said something like, who, who could see being a surprise? That was on my list of who could be in the Royal Rumble. I said Samoa Joe, but that's another, that's a video, that's the next video, but anyway. But yeah, I did say that, I did think she, you know, I think Nakamura could be in the Royal Rumble. I don't really got, I mean, because Sami Zayn was in the Royal Rumble too, so. I mean, I who knows? Like this, if Nakamura loses the title tonight, he will be in the Royal Rumble tomorrow. I can agree, I can agree with that. I can totally agree. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, uh, Cause then it, it makes me think. You think they really gonna let Oscar and Nakamura both lose their title on the same night? I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think D. I mean, I mean, I know DYI is not losing, but I'm saying uh, both of them. Like, or you think only one gonna lose the strap tonight? Uh, it's hard to say, but uh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me say this. Okay, let me be honest. I'm going with Bobby Roode, man. I think I think Glorious need to walk out with the title tonight. Man. Okay, I can I can give you that. I can give you that. I can give you that. I, I like Nakamura. Don't tell me, don't don't get it twisted. But it just feels like if Bobby Roode loses, where does that leave him? So I, I'm just gonna go with Bobby Roode, man. Right. I can go with that. I can definitely title agree. Glorious. All right. I can agree with that. I can I can go with that. I can I can live with that. I, 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 I can I can agree. Bobby Roode not, not win the title, so you never know. How is he? That is that, this is a tough one. Or it can win, or it can end in a no contest. I mean, both dudes could. You, you never know. But like I said, I'm gonna go with Bobby Roode tonight, man. I, I think the title needs to be glorious. All right. I, I'll go with you on that one. I, I, I'll go with that one. I'll go with that one. I, I can rock with that. I really do think Oscar should lose, should lose the title tonight. Because she's been having it for a while. Let, let, let's be honest. I know Amber Moon's supposed to. Some people say Amber Moon's next in line. But if she is, that's probably going to be at the next takeover, which is around WrestleMania. So that means Oscar would have been the champion for over a year. So, you, you know. Maybe she maybe she'll lose it. Then. But um that's who I got. I got Bobby Roode walking out San Antonio tonight, NSC champion. Yeah, I can go with Bobby Roode. I, I can go with Bobby Roode. If Bobby if Nakamura losing means he's in the Royal Rumble, I can go with that. I can go with that. Then I can then we can now get our Wrestle Kingdom ten rematch, AJ Styles versus Nakamura. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep plugging that match. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, y'all. That's too strong for the WWE. They they couldn't afford it. No, I'm just joking. But they, uh, they be the roof will blow up. Blow up if that happens. Like the roof will come off the building if that happens. Well, yeah, but that's our um. So that's it for NXT Takeover, man. That's it for NXT Takeover, man. That's uh, about it, man. Well, like we said, for um, this these are our um, winners for the night. Like I said, D.Y. Yeah. retains the titles. Uh, Roger Strong wins. Eric Young for the win. Peyton Royce or Billy Kay walks out as champion. He chooses Nikki Cross. And uh, me, Bobby Roode, NXT champion. And you? And you, you got Bobby Roode too? Yeah, and uh, Bobby Roode. Yeah, I got Bobby Roode. If, if Bobby Roode win, winning me, we're going to get knocked in the Rumble, yeah. I'm with it. All right, so that's our predictions for NXT. Takeover San Antonio here tonight. It's going to be live. It's going to be great. And you know yep. what they say. 
Everything's bigger in Texas, baby. Ah. <laughs> what they say, man? He Everything's fun. bigger in Texas. And too sweet. Bang. Oh, and by the way, this paper is gonna be glorious. Glorious. <laughs> right, wow. Guys. You know. We out.